you doing, bro? Huh? Are you quite comfy? Huh? Come on. Oh, the morning sun on the belly. So good. Right? So good. Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Ah. Oh my goodness. Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, we're just having some coffee. I got a big day planned today. A friend of mine, actually she's um, she's a viewer of the channel. Uh, she bought an ambulance. Her and I had a bunch of email conversations back and forth. This is going way back in time. And she ran into me out here in the courtside area and looking at her rig and I'm gonna show you her rig uh, the outside you wouldn't know from the outside that it is what it is inside it looks it's still an ambulance on the outside from top to bottom still looks like an ambulance uh, but I'll show you the inside she had it upfitted for her and I'm it's really an amazing looking rig inside but I'll show you that but she started talking to me about um, how her rig was set up and some of the challenges that she has. The, the folks that did the build for her, they did put in uh, a whole slew of batteries. And this is a Chevrolet diesel. Uh, it's a Duramax. I keep getting these spam calls and I block these numbers and then they change it and... Okay. So she's coming over today. Um, so we talked about her rig and what, what she does have installed and she doesn't have any solar system. And so her only charging is to run the alternators to keep her batteries charged up. So what we're gonna do today is start on installing a solar system on her truck. I went on Amazon and found some solar kits. Um, so I picked one out for her it's a 400 watt uh, kit. It's got four 100 watt panels, charge controller, uh, wiring, uh, Z brackets, and then I ordered some extra Z brackets because you know I want to put a bunch of brackets on there. I uh, had to order an additional length of cable just because of the position. Uh, the charge controller is going to go on her driver's side in her electrical cabinet. And then, like I said, the batteries are on the passenger side and the wire that they included for that i just it may have reached but it really would have limited how i could route it uh, across the truck and i didn't want to have that kind of limitation because i've been through that before and you don't want to have uh you don't want to have to run your wires based on you only have so much length um, you want to have plenty of length so you can route it wherever you want to so it's the safest and most secure way uh, I've got um, circuit breakers we're going to put in line. I've got wire loom that we're going to put over the cables. Uh, so we're going to start on this today and we should be able to get a pretty good jump on it. Uh, I looked it all over. There's already an access hole in the tall cabinet uh, and then I'm going to punch that through the roof. Uh, it came with a gland for the wires to go inside, you know, like I have one on the front of my rig, that black plastic, they call it a gland, and that's where your wires go up and into your truck, and it's weatherproof and gasketed and everything. So there's already a hole through that cabinet top, so I'm going to punch that on through the roof to bring the wires down. Putting the panels on the top, that's nothing. So it really shouldn't be that bad of an install, and... I really want to get her set up because um, I used to see her sitting um, camp down the way here with her engine running to keep her batteries topped up and that's stressful to have to monitor your batteries in that way and she does have a battery monitor which is great they installed one of those so this is going to really let her relax a bit uh, not have to worry so much about her power so I'm, I'm really glad to be able to get this done for her. We're going to start on that today, and I'll um, show you guys what we're doing as we as we dig into it. 
All right, so Pam just showed up and we're gonna start working on getting this installed in her rig. So I wanted to show everyone what exactly a kit looks like. So here's what she picked up. It came with four 100 watt panels. Excuse me. Came with a MPPT charge controller. It came with the, the wires with the MC4. These come down from the panels. Here's the combiners for the four panels. This takes the four panels and combines them into one. And then they plug into these two here. And then they route down to the charge controller. And then out of the charge controller, we've got the power leads right here that go over to the batteries. It also included this gland. This is where the wires go inside the rig, up on the roof. And it came with four sets of Z brackets. Um, I ordered more. I had her get some extra Z brackets so that we can be nice and secure. Uh, and then I'm adding in, I've got some uh, circuit breakers for her that I'm gonna connect in. So one of them will go uh, between the panels and the charge controller and the other one will go on the output from the charge controller before it gets to the battery So just some extra security there, and I'm also going to use uh, some 3m VHB tape very high bond double-sided on the underside of the Z brackets uh, when it, when they go down onto the roof so this is The whole kit right here, so it's really not a complicated system uh, just, you know, first thing is figuring out where you're going to install everything and then uh, making sure that the wires and all that are long enough to, to reach. We did have to order uh, an extra length of wire here because the included wire, uh, I think, just wasn't going to be long enough to be able to route it nicely. Oh, dear. Oh, jeez. Lefty. You are not allowed up in her truck. So you guys get a look at this. Oh, you like it in here? What do you guys think about the look of this truck? The guy that uh, she had upfit this for her did a really outstanding job. I mean, look at this, all this wood. Really pleasant looking. It feels like a little hunting cabin in here. I really like it. She's got a stove there, oven stove combo. This is her refrigerator. Really nice. Um, she uses one of those water filter kind of systems over there, and there's her electronics panel right there. They did a really good job. Nice floor and a big dog. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on out of here. Come on. Come on. What, you up too high now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Well, it is perfect weather, you gotta admit. I mean, That's gorgeous. jacket weather during the day, chilly at night. Well, people you meet out here are, you can develop a real bond with people because they're in a similar situation and you usually find a lot of like-minded people out here. You know, yeah. people that said fuck it to all that other yeah. stuff and decided to come out here and do something different. Absolutely. Too. Which is funny. <laughs>
Hi everyone. Uh, this is going to be day two of working on Pam's solar system. Yesterday uh, it was kind of like the mechanics of it. I had to assemble the panels, you know, install all the Z brackets on the panels, uh, four panels. So that took some time. And then I hoisted them up on the roof, um, cleaned the surface. You know, and I put the double-sided tape on the Z-bracket so you clean the surface where the tape is going to attach to the roof so they get a nice good bond. So I did that, got the four panels up there. They're all fastened down, screwed into the roof. Uh, we punched the hole through for her wires uh, that come from the panels, through the gland, the, the ceiling port there. Uh, the wires come down into the cabinet. Okay, so we've got uh, the two wires going in right here, grommet, and then the gland. We're going to use double-sided tape, and then I drilled three holes through the gland. We're going to use three screws to also snug that down. So this is watertight. Obviously, the rain will be coming this direction. That's what these are for, watertight entrance. And then it comes in, and then we've got it coming inside here. Again, another grommet. And now we're going to coil up, probably coil up all the extra cable and store it in there. So that's all finished up. So today we're just going to be um, putting those cables through to the other cabinet where the uh, charge controller is going to install. And then out from the charge controller across under the truck to her battery compartment. You know, she's got the battery compartment like a lot of us do. Uh, on this side of her rig she has one of those pull out drawers you know my second battery is right at the bottom of this cabinet here but she's got the pull out drawer like a lot of rigs have and from what I can see there's a little cover that's on it so I haven't been able to look at the batteries but just from what I can see it looks like there's five batteries in there and they're just your regular lead acid um, so that's the one the one downside that I found on that that build that she had done to her rig I wish they would have used uh, some deep cycle batteries it looks like they just used regular uh, Everstart which I think is Walmart once I get that cover off today and we get a good look at it we'll know for sure and I'll update you later in the video but I have told her that down the road she's going to want to swap swap those out and get some deep cycle batteries in there but when we came out this morning i brought lefty out for a quick whizzer a little while ago and we come out the back of our rig and look at this see these tracks right here these were not here yesterday they go right there they ran over that bush you can see that and then back out that way. I am perplexed. I don't know who did this. It wasn't anybody that had contact with me. The only thing I'm thinking is that in the afternoon, about four o'clock, we took a walk down uh, and met with friends down there at the other end of this area, way down there. You can probably, yeah. That's them right there, my friends. So we were down there for about an hour, a little more maybe, and I'm thinking that this that's when this happened, when these tracks were put here. And I didn't notice them yesterday. I didn't really come out to this area after we came back to the truck. But very strange. Uh, you know, people drive around out here, new people come into an area, and they start scouring around and they want to find the best spot, you know? And for whatever reason this year, this area here has become an area where people want to park. In the two years past that I've been here, this is not a, it's not a desirable area. You know, this area that we're on right here, this is all worn out. This has been used for a long time, so there's no ground prickers. But over here, I don't know if it's picked up on the camera, but all around these areas are these pricker bushes, these little stickers. You can see them here. And these things are brutal. And you don't want to be anywhere near these things. 
And so if you're going to park up in these areas here, you're going to be fighting with these. And I don't know why, but this year this has become a popular area. So somebody <laughs> turned down my path. And this path here is all from me, you know, coming back from town. And then we drive out that way. So this is like our loop. This is the campy loop right here. And no one else is allowed to come in this area. God dang it. This is our area. I have built this over the last three years to a comfortable spot. We did landscaping. You know, we had to flatten the area over here for our outdoor tent. Garbage tree. You know, this is our area. So I'm a little bit discouraged to see that somebody tried to move in here. Oh, that's a pretty rig. All right. That's a pretty rig. Oh, there's a pretty dog. All right, we're gonna go walk and Pam's due over here in about 45 minutes. And we're gonna get her finished up and get the wiring done and turn her system on so she can have solar charging. What you got? Is that squeaky spidey? Oh, oh he's squeaking? Oh, he's squeaky spidey. Why? <laughs> That was uh, from our bark box that came. Thank you. Wh whoever sent that to us, thank you so much. He got two new toys. That over there, the newspaper, which he loves unwrapping. What? You get so excited. What is it? Give me that. Can I have Spidey Man? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Lefty definitely loves squeaky toys. Bring me that. Get it? <laughs> Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Lefty hasn't gotten new toys in quite a while. Thank you for that. This is from Christine. Christine, thank you. Bark box. Thank you, Christine. It's just too lefty. Thank you very much.